Warning! The following game is rated mature and contains content not suitable for younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everyone and welcome back to Yakuza 0 Blind. On the last episode, we, uh, you know, walked around town. Uh, did we do any side missions? I don't think we actually did any side missions. But we were trying to just kill some time so that we could eventually get back over to, uh, Oh, God, what was his name again? The old man who we had just saved uh, to go start our business with him with the real estate royale thing. Uh, so we found out how that works. We we bought, I mean, he the, the new renovated property that we have is kind of nice. We did buy another property down the street, and then we found out about, you know, the Leisure King causing some ruckus around here, and that could stop our money from being gotten. We also get a lot of money from this, so it's kind of nice. Uh, but this episode, I think we might return to the story. Although, uh, someone was like I could talk with the old man and he would be able to switch the thing. Okay, that's not the old man. Is it him or is it her? It's neither. I don't think I could switch it yet. It won't let me. Where did we get the other styles? Cause that'd be a big that's that's a question. Did we purchase them or did we uh were they oh they were they were from this or the uh the shrine, weren't they? Okay. Is there are there any new people that want to join my property as like a as like someone? Apparently that random citizen that we had was our security guard. It doesn't look like our security guard but you know i guess i guess whatever <laughs> hey as long as as long as we have a security guard that eventually helps us out during fights that's kind of nice uh hmm is there anything that we could do i, mean, I can go to Popo and buy another thing Our friendship's getting close to done. Hello. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought she was going to say something. Uh, you know what? I will buy... <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to be the weird guy that holds a milk on. Oh, sorry. Thank you for shopping with us. Is she... Looks like she got something on her mind. Boy. Something wrong? You look a little out of it. Do, do I? Really? Uh. Well, yeah. I am so sorry. I shouldn't have let that show. But you're right. Something's been on my mind all day. What's that? The head office gave me an assignment of sorts. An assignment, huh? Yeah. We have lots of competition here from the M store chain and others. Our stores are all very similar, don't you think? Mm. Come to think of it, I guess there's not much difference between your stores. Yeah. So the head office asked employees from various branches to come up with ideas that would set Papo stores apart from others. Mm. That's why you were lost in thought, huh? Mm. Yes. I don't want to suggest something random that would only grab the customer's attention for five minutes. It has to work in the long term, too. Oh. Silly me. I should ask customers for their opinions. Do you have a few minutes to spare, Kiryu-san? Uh, I guess. Hi. American taste food? Great, so Kiryu-san, is there anything you would like our stores to introduce? Let me think. What would I want at, at, a, at a convenience store? Sofas by the magazine rack. Luxury brand goods. Parcel delivery service. These two just seem outrageous. I feel like this one's the only thing that makes sense. I mean, that'd be kind of nice. I mean, it doesn't have to be like... It doesn't, it, I mean, it doesn't have to be like you you drop something off here and they deliver it to wherever, but it could just be like they drop it off here and then they could like deliver it to another store that's like close to where you need to go. So you gotta like pick up stuff like that way too. I'm gonna go with this. So then. You have stores all across Japan. You could use that to offer a parcel delivery service. <laughs> oh gosh, that's a good idea. Why well, go to the post office or arrange a courier if you could mail or pick up parcels at the same store you do your shopping in? Hey! That's exactly what I was proposing. 
It would be so convenient. I'm sure plenty of customers would make use of it. You can also offer a range of discounts to further entice the customers. I think your idea is going to be a winner. You must be a business genius, Kiryu-san. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am a CEO of a business. Just right down the street. Uh, you're you're exaggerating. I th I'll think it through tonight and see if I can draft the proposal. Thank you so much for that terrific suggestion. I wonder if the suggestions we give are, like, real-life things. <laughs> like, are Popo stores actually real in Japan? I mean, if you... It, maybe? It'd be kind of funny if it was true. Like, they actually do a parcel delivery service, and... <laughs> Kiryu came up with it. Uh... Yeah, I can't afford anything else. And I was told that I really shouldn't just, like, walk and wait for this. This is more of a... I mean, we're almost about to get some money. This is more of a do-it-as-the-game-progresses kind of thing. Out of my way. I'm going to win something from the vending machine. Give me something good. That is new? Is that new? I got a point. Well, I mean, it doesn't help if they all say new. How do I get rid of the, the, <laughs> I get rid of the word that says new? I got spiked tires. I don't know what version I got. But I have, there's several different variants. Hold on. Uh, I'm slightly curious about that weird guy that was, sorry. That one guy that we saw over here. Because it almost seemed like he was part of a side quest that we could have started, but we didn't actually do anything with it. Because like, we heard someone sniffing over here. I do have a pocket tissue on me, so if someone needs it, I can offer it. Hey, okay, yeah, this was a thing. Kamarojo's Mr. Libido. Oh, God. Ugh. <laughs> I don't like that you're laughing or looking at me like this. Mm -hmm. Who's this guy? He doesn't look like a barker. <laughs> he looks shady as heck. Hope he leaves me alone. You can just start walking, Kiryu. Hey there. Uh, what? Telephone cards. I know you have some. Huh? Just give me a little peek at them. Uh. Fine. Uh. <laughs> not bad. Ooh, look at the curves on this one. Oh, God, not the dance. Uh -huh. All right, I see it. Yeah, nice and clear. Boy. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Me? I'm just looking at the cards. Why? Yeah. You said you saw something nice and clear. <laughs> oh, yeah. I could look at a photo of a girl and see the whole shebang. The whole shebang? Haven't you ever stared at a girl's photo long enough that her clothes started to melt away? Huh? <laughs> You know, you get a feeling for how she'd look naked. You can imagine where all her... Why am I saying this out loud? I feel creepy. <laughs> I had to read it. You can imagine where all her curves are and all that. <laughs> then you go to the club where she works and see if she really looks the way you imagine. Come on, you've done that too, right? Yeah. Uh, no. Can't say I, that I have. Huh? Seriously? Yeah, not even once. Are you of <laughs> what? Don't! Come on! First pocket circuit fighter now, me? Are you a virgin or something? Nani. What? Is that really something you just ask people? <laughs> I didn't think so. These days everyone gets it out of the way in their teens. I don't know anyone over 20 who hasn't done it yet. If you find any more of those telephone cards with girls in them, let me see. All I need is a quick peek. A 
that I'll find many more. I used to say I'll even run into you again anyway. I'm always at the various girly establishments getting my freak on. But in between sessions, I might have time to meet. That's big of you. I don't have the stamina to keep that up. Well, I'm known for my boundless energy. My name's Akimoto, but they call me Mr. Libido. Nani. Real men can go five times before they're here and warmed up. No kidding. All right. Time to find a place to hack the weasel. See you. I don't want a friendship with him. You got to know Akimoto, otherwise known as Mr. Libido. Interacting with him will gradually fill the friendship gauge. You can check the status of this gauge at any time in the comp completion list. Ugh. Well, now I, now I feel like I, sh I, you know, I just thought he was sick, cause I heard, cause he was like sniffing the last time he came by. I didn't think he was trying to sniff me. I thought he just had like a runny nose. So innocent. <laughs> All right, well, let's go have that drink then. At least we started a mission. Wait, hold the phone. Pay out ready. All right, screw that. We're going to go get some money. We won't have enough to buy anything. Because we haven't found anything. Excuse me. Pardon me. I'm going to go to my job now. All right, I'm back. Ooh, nice. Do I have enough for something? I don't think I do. Taka Uematsu. I mean, the guy that held us out had a tan suit. Maybe he does have a tan suit. I just couldn't tell. No, I can't talk to I can't talk to the guy. Can't even go back here. Look at all the trophies and nail polish. And she's really making this place home, huh? <laughs> yeah, I don't think I have enough to buy another property because, like, we know about we know about this. 16 million. I don't. I have 10 million. Is there like a cheaper place that I could get? You're not a place. You're not a place. Where does where does the leisure district begin and end? Okay, so it goes up to the city street. I wonder if that means anything like on this side would count. We did see the Leisure King right there. Just checking every building front. Saloon? No. All right, well. Ooh, is that a rich guy? He. I mean, is that supposed to be like a gold sweatshirt, or is it just like a normal sweatshirt? <laughs> I think that's just a normal sweatshirt. I might just be a blind person. Uh-oh. Oh. oh, sorry. Yeah, nothing over here, I think. It said coffee shop Yamagata, but I don't see, like, a entrance for it. Unless it's the staircase. 12 million. That's a little closer, but still not within price. I just want to see if there's maybe one place. Just like one place that I could purchase. That way when we, you know, eventually come back, we have like maybe a little bit more money to make. This is, this is the, no, no, no. That's the Tojo Clan building. That's where, Nish, that's where Nishiki and uh, Scarface is at. <laughs> 
I don't remember what his last name is. Is it that? Wait, does it go from 10,000 to 100,000? Oh, sure. I feel like that was not worth it. Chinko New Eden. The location is great, so it seems like it always does a good business. What should I do? This feels like it's going to be a very expensive place. Surprisingly not. Oh, what am I doing? I could have totally just invested in the properties. Ah. Uh, well, you know what? I'm just going to... I'm just going to go. いらっしゃいませ。あ。いや。あれ、お客さん初めて。あ。ああ。お好きな席にどうぞ。いや、俺は待ち合わせで。緊張してんじゃねえよ。認識。よ。<笑> なんでお前がここに行きつけの店の一軒や二軒俺にだってあるさこの店は今俺の一番の大きいなレナあら錦山くんの知り合いあもしかしてキリュウさんあああそうだかうわやっと会えた一度お会いしてみたかったのよ
もう一杯飲むかいや待つよ先輩をほっといて俺だけ出来上がっちまうわけにもいかないからなふん<笑>なんだよおめえも少しはサラリーマンっぽくなってきたじゃねえかこれくらいで何言ってんだただのマナー常識だろうその常識がねえのがおめえだったろうが<笑>言ってろねえそれならカラオケでもどうんいいね歌う歌うバカそれじゃ酒飲んでんのと変わんねえだろうつうかカラオケならこの前もじゃあお前は聞いてるだけでいい俺が勝手に歌うからそれならいいだろう仕事上がりの時くらい硬いこと一個なしよ歌ってる間に小田さんもきっと来るわしょうがねえなよしそうと決まれば全は急げだミュージックスタートwell I mean I could get that 90 okay <laughs> story story needed karaoke moments Did Scarface always play the piano during that song? I mean, to be fair, that's only your second. Wow, what a great score. <laughs> to be fair, most of the buttons were Y. I did have a little screw up in the middle there somewhere. I'll take it. You know what? We only need to get like 90 plus. We don't need to get like a perfect 100. Do you? ニシキヤマ君すごい。プロみたいだったわ。だろ、だろ。おめえもなんだかんだ言って乗り乗りだったじゃねえか。しょうがねえから乗ってやっただけだ。たく、素直じゃねえな。本当はおめえも歌いた
元気そうだな阿波野の兄貴なんでここに座ってろ錦山こいつらに身を覚えあんだろう桐生その説はお世話になりました桐生さんお前ら戦友やのお前らが織田をやったのかその前にお前はうちのしのぎ邪魔したんだろう立花不動産っていえこそこそ登場会に立てついてる連中で組み抜けてそうそうお前もギリってものが分かってねえ親父ここは俺がこいつ知ってるかうちの岡部ってもんだ例の戦友屋のしのぎはこいつの仕切りでなかわいそうにおめえのせいでけじめつけちまったおめえ今度は何やらかした下っ端が口を挟むんじゃねえぞおれおっ錦いいね、俺がこちらの片木さんと話してんだろうが錦<笑>やめよガキがシャシャル出てくんな錦山は関係ねえこいつとはたまたま居合わせただけです慌てなくても次はてめえだねえ親父もうこいつやっちまっていいっすかこいつの面見てるだけで俺らはもうおう片木の皆さんに迷惑かけねえようにな店の外でやれほらここで錦山と飲んだら美人のママも一緒にな来いや、キリュウ。すぐに戻る。おい。そんじゃ、こっちはこっちで、楽しくやろうや。ねえ、錦山。Not hurting civilians. I guess I'm a special kind of civilian. Ore, w h you? Oh, my God, so cute to our morning. Kuminuka, that's so no she did. Curtis, we shone been Kagate. O Kagate, w h 1000万からのしのぎがパーだ死に急ぐのは勝手だがよもっと周りに迷惑かけねえようにしねえとな何つったってんだ土下座しろや土下座てめえたちは分かってんのかバイラーなんか勘違いしてるらしいなあんたらに詫び入れる気はねえよおとなしく殴られてやる理由もねえやる気なのかそうかよ<笑>面白いなお前おれやってみろ<笑><笑>早くやれやその代わりここが最後の一戦だすぐそこに阿波野の親父がわざわざ出張ってきてるそいつを承知でやるってんだよその度胸だけは褒めてやるよ俺の仲間が血流してる
。イシキヤマト、ソレリタチバナフドザンのお前のそれが<笑>あいつは、ほんの少しカワイガットダゲデスグテメノイドゴロハイダヨ。最後の一戦だてめえらとっくにそれ超えてんだ行くぜ Did these guys forget I beat them up 10 minutes ago? I mean they have weapons now so maybe maybe that's where they're getting like all this trust from but I just knocked out like a bunch of them hey I'm gonna take this never mind Oh, that's a big health bar. I didn't even realize it. Hey, can I grab this thing on the ground? Oh, I'm in the middle. Give me a cigarette while we're at it. Whoa! Hey, dodge roll! Aha! I'll take this and, uh,. Alright, you're all that's left. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There we go. That was simple. ああ、
武将に逃げ込んだとしても無駄だぜ死ぬまで追い込むそれも楽に死ねると思うやってみろ<笑>ちゃんと頭使って聞いてるかこれはおめえだけの話じゃねえその次へおめえの兄弟も始末する錦屋のことだこのままじゃあいつはおめえのとばっちりだ助けてやれよあんた立花に会ってどうする気だこれの一つの情報を洗いざらい吐き出させるんだけどその後部外者にはご退場願うつまり殺すってことか<笑>朝まで考える時間がある立場の渡すかおめえが死ぬかどっちか選んで国や住人連絡しろや返事がねえ時は狩りを始めよう獲物は当然お前の首で Oh, that's the end of chapter five. I was wondering why there were so many cutscenes. 20 million earned? Oh, I could buy a house now. We're 22, 2 million yen grand pianos. Duh. Oh, well, earn through business. Okay, we got that tab now. Earn through mini games. I guess that's like if I go gamble. We earned more money through completing the chapter than we did any of the fights we had this episode or this chapter. Ah, crap. Well, we're at the end of the chapter, so. Uh, we're going to have to do the next episode. All right. Well, okay. <laughs> well, that's chapter five. Uh, what's going to happen in chapter six? There is. Okay, so there's a 0% chance that we're going to betray Tachibana because it's just not the person that Kiryu is. Unless he just has, like, the biggest change of heart that I've seen so far. It seems like whenever Kiryu has his mindset on something, he doesn't move like a rock. So, uh, yeah, we're not going to do that. Which means I guess we're going to have the Yakuza against us again. Because, of course. Uh, Nishiki doesn't seem like he's going to be that happy about it. Because he was kind of not part of it. And now he's going to become part of it. E. We were having such a nice thing. You know, the moment he didn't show up, it, it felt like, oh, yeah, Oda's certainly going to be in trouble somehow. But once again, we beat those guys up earlier. Maybe they got a drop on him, and then that, that just allowed it to happen. Uh, the guy's going to lose another finger. <laughs> we, we, ruined his, we ruined his squatter plan, and then we just beat him up. So, poor guy. But... Yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. On the next episode of... I almost said New World Ends With You. Yakuza Zero Blind. We will start Chapter 6. See where that's going to go. Are we going to continue as Kiryu? Or are we hopping back over to Majima? Or is there like a third character that I don't know of? Because that'd be surprising. Seeing as how the only art I've really seen of this game has only the two. <laughs> so, until next time. Hopefully you enjoy.